guys what is up and welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel today I am filming a very exciting video in my opinion it's an entire Halloween themed school lunch for my six-year-old I love filming kids meal ideas and I love also filming themed snacks and themed foods I just find it fun I'm such a Pinterest mom um, so yeah let's jump into today's video we are doing a little Frankenstein wrap and some fun little vegetable cutouts and just sticking with the Halloween themed uh, snacks and foods but something that's going to be easily transported to school and eaten at school as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and give it a like if you do and we will jump right into it. I am starting out with the main dish which is going to be a Frankenstein wrap. So I just have a green spinach wrap for Frankenstein's face. Um, I have some chicken and cheese, mayo, and some spinach. So I'm just gonna make a traditional wrap. Uh, this is a buffalo chicken one. I love doing hummus wraps, but unfortunately I do not have hummus and was not thinking to purchase it at the store. Uh, but my daughter does love a good wrap here and there. So this wrap I'm going to try to make a little bit more of a flatter rectangle so I didn't want to overstuff it and I'm not going to roll it like a circle. So what I'm going to do is just fold in the top and the bottom and then kind of just fold it over like so. So it's not going to be the most full wrap you've ever had but you want it to be more of a rectangle. Now we're gonna make Frankenstein's eyes. I have a couple of cucumber slices. I have some turkey pepperoni. I have a slice of American cheese here. I'm going to use my frosting tip to make some circles and cut those out. I have a couple of slices of cheese, popping that in the center, and then a couple of black olives. I'm actually gonna push his eyes down a little bit further. I forgot I needed to make room for his hair. For Frankenstein's hair, I'm using these nacho chips, and I'm gonna just use the triangle pieces to make the triangles of his hair. Frankenstein's little smile. I'm going to take this pepperoni and slice it into a little smile shape. All right, next up, we want to do his little bolt, his signature bolt on the side of his head. And so I have a cube of cheese. A toothpick honestly though I don't think this part will fit in a school lunchbox so maybe this will just be an at-home Halloween lunch but you can definitely do it without this is our completed little Frankenstein wrap I think he turned out adorable We have to have a vegetable for a side, of course, you know, that health life. So I have some cucumbers and I have just these uh, pre-sliced carrot chips. I bought those for a different recipe. I had those on hand, but you can use whatever carrots you like. And I'm going to make these into little pumpkins. So we are making the stem here. I'm going to do two slits on the top. Down like this. And I'm going to make a little triangle cut here. 
that we're gonna remove. So remove this triangle and do the same thing on the other side. Make a little triangle and remove it. Well, it kind of looks like a mushroom, but <laughs> these are supposed to be pumpkins. And then go ahead and slice them. Maybe you don't make your slice so big. But we are not professionals here. We are just moms. <laughs> now I'm going to do the same thing with my carrots that are already kind of ready to go. Make a little stem. I'm going to learn from my mistake. Make just a little triangle. There. That is much better. Carrots and cucumbers. How cute. Of course, we have to have a fruit side, and so I'm gonna make the little pumpkin tangerines. So I have a little cutie tangerine here. I'm gonna try to take out the center without ripping the pumpkin open, pumpkin, the orange open. You know, that little like center stem there kind of and then I'm sure you've seen these all over the place every year now I have a little piece of celery and I'm gonna stick that in there for the pumpkins stem just like that okay next up we have to have a little bit of crunch we have to have a little bit of cheese even though we have some in our wrap there's never too much cheese. So I'm making little witch's pretzel broomsticks. We have some pretzel sticks, we have a cheese stick, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut up this uh, probably into three different sections. I'll have three different witch's brooms. Cut your cheese stick into three sections, and then you're gonna make the little tassels, like the little uh, pieces of the broomstick by just cutting it into slices this way, as many as you can get. I'm gonna use a toothpick to poke a hole in the top of my cheese stick, that way I can get the uh, pretzel in there easier, and I'm just gonna twist this all around. Make a little hole for my pretzel. Stick my pretzel in there. And you have a little witch's broom. I guess you could probably cut the string cheese into smaller pieces since I have ginormous little ends of my brooms here, but it works. All right, next up I wanted to make a fun little side that's a little bit sweeter, like a little treat. I found this maple cinnamon toast popcorn at my local grocery store, and I thought this would be absolutely perfect. It's not candy, and they're not really allowed to have candy at school, uh, but I like to pack her a little sweet treat once in a while, especially, you know, holiday time. You kind of have to, right? So I've got this little bowl with some maple crunch toast popcorn. Add a little something extra Halloweeny. Halloweeny? I'm making that a word right now. I am gonna add some Halloween sprinkles to her popcorn. It has little candy eyeballs, little candy ghosts and bats, and colorful sprinkles. Thought that would be cute. Oh, cool. Those are all just falling in there. 
I would maybe use Halloween colored M&Ms because the sprinkles obviously just fell to the bottom of the dish. I don't know what I was thinking. I did plop a couple of eyeballs on there. She'll enjoy that. And then I do want to add one more treat. I want to add one more fun little spooky element that's also a semi-treat slash fruit one. We have a couple of sliced apples. I like buying the bagged apples like this. They're already bagged with vitamin C so they don't turn on you. And that is one of the biggest reasons why I like to buy those if I'm packing them in the school lunch because once they turn brown, no one wants to eat them, right? So I have two slices and I'm gonna go ahead and put peanut butter on the inside of those. Spread it as best you can. It's not gonna look cute or anything. It's gonna be slightly messy. Going on on both sides for this one. I bet you can guess what I'm making now. I have these little mini maple marshmallows from Trader Joe's. I have not given them a try, actually. Well, let me give them a taste first. Mmm, tastes like maple syrup. These are going to be the teeth. We are making little apple peanut butter marshmallow teeth. So you're going to stack these up as if they're little chiclet teeth. Close it like a little sandwich. And there you have it, the cutest little Halloween lunch for kiddos. Something all of you can do, I know you can. I am not artistic whatsoever, so I love that all of these ideas are super, super easy. I love that we can get our vegetables, our fruit, something sweet and fun in. Something of every food group, essentially. I've already been starting to munch on this popcorn. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little kids Halloween lunch video. I had so much fun making it. I love making things like this and playing with food because, you know, when you grow up, you're told not to. But I love being that little, like, Pinterest mom. And honestly, kids light up at these little things, or at least mine does. Sydney absolutely loves a themed food, whether it be a themed pancake, something as simple as making a pumpkin out of a carrot. I don't do it all the time. I actually don't do it very often at all because who has time for that, honestly? But I think once in a while, especially around the holidays, it's super fun to do. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe for lots more kids meal ideas. I post those constantly over on Instagram. I try to post them as much as I can over here on YouTube as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.